Here are all the phrases from the first episode, including the corrections, so you can pause the video right now and catch up. I'm very grateful for all the comments under the first video and without further ado, let's get started. Ok, so the last time you hung out with Legolas, you ate dinner together and got henna tattoos. After a few weeks, you're meeting him again and because you're friends now, you can greet him by saying "Hi," which means hi or hail. I like to remember it as being the middle part of hail. But you can also greet him in a more sophisticated way, for example by saying Gisulong, which means I greet you. Remember that when you see a G in pronouns, this expression is informal, and when there's an L in there, it's a formal sentence. So now, when you're friends with Legolas, you'd use this sentence to greet him. So yeah, just say Gisulong. However, if you're not friends with somebody you meet, you can ask them if you can speak as friends. To do that, you'd say Peditam Hisuivelin. May we speak as friends now? Ok, so personally, I'd love to play basketball with Legolas. And so to start the conversation, I would ask him what is he doing? And in Elvish, it is Mankerik. I always remember this phrase as asking a man about something he cares about. Like Man, what are you caring about? Which shortens to Mankerik. Now, because you didn't specify the time in this question, Legolas may ask you When? What time are you referring to? And when, in Sindarin, is Navang. To remember it easily, imagine two people in a van, late for work, stuck in traffic, and one of them keeps yelling faster and when are we going to get there? That's how I remember Navang. If you want to answer him with now, it's he. Yes, it looks like the English hi, but it's pronounced differently. And it's not the first time Tolkien has done that. One of the most accurate translations of the word yes to Sindarin is no. It is really strange, but at least it's easy to remember, right? But if you want to play ball with Legolas later, for example in the evening or the next day, either you or he can say until then, which is ni lu tol. It literally means when the time will come, which I think is just so cool. So again, if you want to say until then, which you can use in many situations, it's ni lu tol. Now, no matter the time of the match, when you'll get to the court, some guys will probably be playing there already, and because they'll see Legolas, they will probably say in Sindarin Tolo Govango Veng, which means come, join us, or come, meet us. Now, Legolas may refuse the offer. He will probably say Avong, which means I won't, I refuse. But of course, Legolas will surely accept the offer. He may say Guayem, which means let's go. I like to associate it with this weird conjunction Goem, because when you say Goem quickly, it sounds kinda like Guayem, and it has go in it, like let's go. Anyway, I hope it helps. Ok, so now you're playing basketball, and I think Legolas would be great at it. I mean, have you seen his jumps and agility? That's why he would probably be the best on the court. So when he scores a monstrous slam dunk and he gives you that look, you can jokingly say I am not an elf, Uin Adele. Because, yeah, you cannot jump as high as he can. Remember the pedil at Helen? Do you speak elvish phrase from the previous episode? We can see here how to make adjectives from nouns. The noun is elf, Edel, and we can make the word elvish by adding en to the end of it, at Helen. Ok, so one of my favorite things in elvish is the insults. I plan on doing a separate video just on them, but here goes my favorite one. Sevik tu uan, which means you smell like a monster. Literally, it means you have the stench of a monster. It just seems so cool to me. Sevik to Uang. You can say it on the field to the opposite team. Alright, so of course many injuries can happen on the court. Many painful injuries. So the way you say ouch, the elvish way, is neat. It literally means it hurts. Maybe you're not gonna use it, but Legolas surely will. 
But then again, is he ever hurt? But when anybody else is hurt or in pain, you can ask Legolas for help. One of the ways you can do that is by saying Boe den estat. Boe den estat means him or her needs healing. If you want to add please to the beginning or the end of this sentence, you can find it in the first episode, but it's of course Angel Nin. The other thing that can happen on the court is an incredible play. Frankly, there's a way to say wow in Sindarin, and it's Elo. So when Legolas smashes a shot, you can use it, followed by Agorek Vaye. You did well. I'm sure that he'll appreciate it. He may actually appreciate it so much that he will grab your hand, look you straight in the eyes, and say, Thank you from my heart. Guren Glasui. Then just say Ada. And you know, the night is young. Today you're not saying goodbye. Alright, thank you for watching. If you're interested in further exploring the language, I'll leave some resources in the description, and I hope to see you next time in part nail.